everybody, Andrew here from Tip B, and we're going to quickly show you a, a quick comparison of the RAM performance. I have the original iPad here and the new iPad 2 on the right, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've loaded all of the stories from today uh, from Tip B's main site, and I've opened them up into background tabs. Now with the original iPad, it only has 256 megabytes of RAM, so often when you're browsing the web, and you open up a tab, and you switch back to the, the previous tab that you were viewing, it's going to reload the entire page because it simply doesn't have enough memory to keep every tab uh, in a live state. So with the iPad 2, uh, we're, we're guessing that it has at least 512 megabytes of RAM, at least double uh, from the iPad, and that really helps with browsing and, and keeping things saved in the memory. So so I'm going to quickly show you, I've opened every uh, all as many tabs as I can on both of the iPads here. And uh, with the iPad 2, you'll see that you can open up each tab and every single tab is saved into memory. It, it doesn't clear each tab out or clear any of the tabs out um, upon switching between tabs here. So every single tab is, is loaded into memory there with no hiccups whatsoever. Now with the iPad, the first iPad, you you load another tab and it seems to, to again, refresh the entire page. So probably going to do that, well not on everyone apparently, but the majority of tabs unfortunately they're not going to be saved because of the lack of RAM. Now it looks like it's doing pretty well here. There's another one that had to refresh and there's another one that had to refresh. So, so about half of the tabs were cleared out here and another thing that you'll notice is the checkerboard effect when I'm scrolling up and down quickly here. Um, you just don't get that with the iPad 2. I haven't seen any checkerboard effect yet. And again, I have all nine tabs open here. And I just, I'm not seeing any of the checkerboard effect happen. Now again, you scroll up and down on the original iPad and you get that immediately. So that's a, a, a pretty good understanding of, you know, how much better of a performer the iPad 2 is and apparently how much more RAM it has. I'm, I'm guessing that it has 512, but again, it could have as high as a gig. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a quick comparison. Obviously, the iPad 2 is performing much better than the original iPad when it comes to scrolling in the browser and keeping tabs open in the background. So, yeah, I hope that helps you get a better idea, and uh, thanks for watching.